My name is Gerald Horgan and I'm farm here in Dungarvan on the foothills of the Cumber Mountains with my brother Tomas. Uh, since 1972 the herd has grown from 50 cows to 220 in 2008 and in 2008 myself and my brother took over it from our father. We have increased up to 500 cows as from this year and we're going to further increase next year by another 50 cows. At the moment we've kind of hit a lot of our goals above our um, schedule planning but where we want to get now is into more efficiencies and we want to reduce our costs. Our journey started when we built the rotary parlour back in 2012 when we went from a 20 unit rotary to 50 unit rotary and we have savings of over a day's labour a week. So then we started looking at our feeds. Our feed takes an awful lot of time, it takes a lot of energy, money and we needed to save time. We do about 30 to 40 percent of our milk production during the winter time so it's crucial that we get the milk and the feed exactly right. At the moment we feed six different blends in the mix. We feed soya, distiller's grains, a potato mix, maize and silage and we also use straw for roughage. We find with this mix, with this machine, the mix is very thorough so feeding is a very very important aspect of our, our herd. So Abby got us this triorger machine on trial and we tried it out and we put it on a 120 horsepower case CS120 with a styre, styre back end and it has driven the machine at no problem and we have loaded it up to over 14 and a half ton and it actually runs more efficiently and we reckon more fuel efficient than what it was on the paddle machine at 9 ton. From an engineering point of view, I was very happy with the robust build of the Abbey machine, the steering mechanism for efficiency in moving around our yard, and the height. Self-steering axe was a big issue for us ourselves here because we have a tight yard with lots of corners and bends. Our old machine was a two-axle one, and this machine is coming in maybe another maybe eight feet longer. The self-steering on it, it actually moves around the farm easier, there's no tearing on the machine, and we can get in and out quicker and safer. The parts I like about this machine is number one, it's a drive shaft system. It's a very simple, straightforward drive, straight from the tractor through the three augers. The bolt-on mechanism for the auger steering, it's be very efficient, easy to maintain. The steering system is very simple. The visibility of the machine has been enhanced with cameras that we put on it. When this machine came, we were looking at it and our old machine only had one door, but we looked at that, the two doors as another way of increasing output. By opening the two doors, we can increase the tractor speed as putting out the feed. The quicker we can get the feed out to our cows, the quicker they can eat, the quicker they can sit down, and the quicker they can start making money on their bellies for milk. It's all about speed to us. At this moment in time, changing from our old machine to this machine, and we haven't hit peak production yet, we can see a, a time saving of between one and one and a half hours. And as we come to peak, we reckon we'll probably be keen somewhere between one and two hours per day of time saving. The benefits of the Abbey Triorger since it's come to Ashdill Farm Farmers is that number one, that we can put it on a small tractor which, is, which can drive it very easily. We have great mobility in this machine running it from the old yard into the new yard. Our other big good benefits of this machine is our labour saving on this machine. Every day we have a few hours saving. Plus the feed quality which is most important for us, the feed mix from start to finish is at a really good quality.